Winter storms tend to be a nuisance and a safety hazard for many of us, but they can also be a welcome event for farmers. John Gaston is visiting with a couple of them to find out just how much a March storm like this may affect the upcoming planting season and beyond. He continues our first third team coverage here at 530. Underneath this new white blanket of snow is a corn, soybean, and alfalfa farm near Colton. The farm's owner, Jeff Thompson, was pleased to wake up to this site this morning. Well, it's nice to see some precip coming down. You know, we'd prefer straight rain instead of a uh, freezing slush like everybody. Insulated from the storm in this shed to work on a tractor, Thompson says, although the moisture helps, well, we got a long ways to go yet to uh, replenish some soil moisture levels. It has been a much drier than normal winter, which brings Thompson flashbacks of 2012, the worst drought year in recent memory. The South Dakota Farm Bureau president, a corn and soybean farmer himself, believes it's a little early to be worried about a repeat. Every year is different and we just have to trust that uh, the, the moisture will come. And when we put that seed in the ground, there's no guarantees. So you just have to manage your risk. We have to put crop insurance in place and do things right. While a lot is left up to the weather, paint and rebuild. Thompson says advances in modern farming since 2012 could help prevent disastrously low yields in the case of a drought. Tillage practices, your your herbicide choices, uh, at least we have more options on our farming practices now through the chemicals and practices and equipment that we have than we did, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. It was a totally different environment. Still, timing is everything. A month from now is, is when we really need to be rolling in the field to uh, get the crop put in the ground. And for that to happen, Jeff needs plenty of April showers and 50 degree soil temperatures. It's all up to Mother Nature. Near Colton, John Gaskins, Dakota News Now. Meantime, the state's Farm Bureau chief says that although March snow makes calving more difficult for some in the livestock industry, it is something that is typically anticipated.